Deli Deli with the sauce sauce. All right, guys, what's poppin'? Your boy Deli G, the one and only, back in the studio, back in the lab. So, just wanted to come back on real quick and just shoot on uh, the latest uh, report coming from uh, Woj, the uh, basketball guru, insider, expert about um, Goran Dragic. You know, there's a bunch of uh, suitors lining up to acquire services, and now one of them has finally done so. Um, but before we get to who it is, I um, just want to give you guys a brief uh, backstory since I've been following it, uh, you know, very, since from the beginning. I mean, you know, we all know that he was part of the sign and trade deal with Kyle Lowry. And when he came on to the Raptors, you know, in his press conference, he was uh, quoted as saying that he had uh, higher aspirations for joining a new team. So completely downplaying, you know, the ability of the of the Raptors to, you know, secure a playoff berth or a possible championship might have you. But, um, you know, it looks like they're doing all right for themselves. Um, they'll certainly be at the very at the very least, they'll be in the play in tournament. So that's just giving yourself as much of a chance as anybody else. Uh, really, you know, you might have to play a few extra games, but that's OK. If it means that uh, you might be able to get in, then that's certainly a chance that they have. Also, when he was acquired, he had to take a leave of absence for personal reasons, as he was saying, personal reasons, but, um, you know, mostly he was just being with his family and whatnot, and I think he was physically able to play and everything, but I think he was still just pining over his old team. There was, there was a report that uh, he had gotten in early for the Miami Heat game and was like, sitting close to the court side or was sitting in the in the stands watching the game you know pining over his old team so yeah not not a good look there certainly uh, in the public eye or with a lot of raptors fans in general so not not really looking too good for him as a raptor and then finally on the trade deadline day masai pulled uh, actually the day before masai pulled the trigger on him to get thaddeus young which i thought was a pretty awesome trade just with the familiarity of him and, and OG Ananobi training together and stuff like that. So I think it's it's a good fit, obviously, for the Raps. But um, there was an interview with the friend Van Bleet, and he was quoted as saying, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's nice. It's nice just to get a guy back, you know, who's willing to contribute, you know, because the other guy was just sitting around, you know? You're not gonna be able to get anything from a guy who's just sitting around all the time, so. I thought, you know, I and I thought and I thought personally when when Freddie came out and said that, you know, I thought it showed leadership and I thought that it needed to be said, man. It needed to be said from one of the guys in, in the locker room, you know, like glad you're gone. You never helped us out. You never wanted to help us out. So it's it's just a good thing that uh, Masai was able to pull the trigger and, and get something basically for nothing for a guy who was just sitting on the couch waiting to be traded. So. It is what it is, and now the team that has uh, finally acquired his services is the Brooklyn Nets, which already shipped away James Harden. And we can get into that whole trade and everything, but I really don't want to. That's that's old news at this point. Anyways, yeah. So Dragic, let's see if he helps the Nets out. He'll probably just be like a, another backup role player, three and D guy. But he's 34 years old. He's on decline. I don't really think he's gonna help much. Honestly, I, I hope it doesn't happen for the guy. You know, I I mean, obviously I don't want him to win a title with the Nets or anything like that, but at the same time, you know, I I hope that he, he actually stays healthy because he's been very injury prone uh, over the last few years. So if he stays uh, if if he stays injury free, maybe he might be able to contribute. But I'm not really betting on that. So that's that's my take on it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all later. Deli G Show. Peace out. Deli Deli with the sauce sauce.